Hey, welcome back to the channel. Sam here from High Life Campers. Now, today's video is called What is the difference between a T28, a T30, and a T32 uh, VW Transporter van? And I decided to record this video today because I've had a couple of people uh, reach out to us recently uh, inquiring about some of the campers and the vans that we've got available at the moment. And we keep getting asked if the base vehicles are a T28 or a T30 or even a T32. So I wanted to cover this topic in this video because a lot of people do get confused when it comes to all the different variables variations of base vehicle on the transporter. So what I want to do first, really quickly, is just run through the different models of transporter that are available, uh, just so you know the differences between them. So there are four main models of VW transporter. The first one is a start line, which is the bog standard uh, variation. The second one is a trend line. The third one is a high line. And then the fourth uh, option is a sport line. So the start line van is the bog standard van. It comes with slightly less technology, but the new T6.1 start line does come with a bit more technology compared to the old version, the old T6 version. And then the trend line has a few more features and a little bit more tech on it. And then the high line has got all the kind of bells and whistles uh, inside and outside of the van. So everything that you're used to on a car, generally the high line van has that. And then there is a sport line version, which is a really expensive van which comes with all the modifications on the outside as standard. It's got like fancy sport seats and, and alloys and all of that sort of stuff comes standard uh, on the sport line. Now most of the campers that you see out there for sale are generally either a start line business pack van or they are a high line van. So as a company we only ever buy high line vans uh, because we know our customers want all those kind of extra uh, bits of technology that you get on a car. So we tend to only buy high line vans. Okay, so the main thing I wanna cover then in this video is the differences between the T28, the T30, and the T32, uh, and what implications that might have uh, when it comes to buying a, a camper van. So first of all, the T28, the T30, and the T32 has nothing to do with the actual model of the base vehicle. It has nothing to do with the features on the inside of the van or the outside of the van. It's got nothing to do with that. What the 28, the 30, and the 32 actually means is the total load-bearing weight that that van can actually take. So really it boils down to the axle and the strength of the actual frame of the van. So that will include any people that are actually travelling in the van, as well as any other things that are in the back of the van, including a camper conversion. So most of the vans that we buy to convert into campers are T28s, because there's never going to be more than 2.8 tonnes of weight, even with the camper conversion. So a T28 is absolutely fine for a camper. Now the T30 means that it can take up to three tonnes of load-bearing weight, okay? So that slightly increases the capacity of weight. So if you were, say, a builder or a carpenter and you were carrying around lots of heavy uh, machinery and tools and bricks and things like that, you might need a slightly stronger van. And the same goes for the T32, so that can take up to 3.2 tonnes of load-bearing weight. So what you're going to be using that base vehicle for will determine whether you need a T28, T30 or T32. But because we're talking solely about campers here, it doesn't matter if that van is a T28 or a T32, it makes absolutely no difference to the camper, it makes no difference to the way it looks or drives, it's purely to do with the load-bearing weight. Okay, so I hope that makes sense to you. And I know a lot of people do get very confused with all the different models and variations of Transporter. And then you throw in the T28, T30 and all that stuff into it as well. It just makes it even more confusing. But really, if you're looking at buying a camper, you just need to eliminate all of that. It really isn't a concern that you should have if you are buying a camper that's a T28. It makes no difference uh, whatsoever. It's more important to focus on the model of Transporter that you want, i.e. are you happy with the start line van or would you prefer a high line with all the extra tech and other gadgets and things like that? So if you've got any questions to do with the models of Transporter or anything I've just covered in this video, please put them in the comment section below this video and I'll get back to you personally. Uh, and if you've got any other questions about VW Campers in general, you can reach out to us on our website, which is highlifecampers.co.uk. I'll put the uh, domain name there. Uh, just go to the inquiry page and send us a message. So if you're looking into buying a VW camper in the near future, you may have a ton of other questions uh, and you can get a lot more help and advice on our YouTube channel. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you do that so you don't miss any of our future videos. And we've also got a couple of free guides available. The first one is the VW Camper Buyer's Guide, where we talk through the whole process of actually buying a VW camper. And then we've also got our conversion spec guide, where we talk through all of our conversion packages and all the details of that, plus all the costs involved. So I will put links to both of those guides just below this video on YouTube. And if you're wanting a luxury VW camper ready for the road before summer, then also make sure you check out the sales page on our website uh, to see all of our available base vehicles and also completed campers. And if you've got value from this video and you've enjoyed the content, please also consider hitting that like button and I will see you in the next video. Speak soon.